What's going on guys? Welcome to another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and one of the more interesting promos. I guess you could call it a promo. Last year it wasn't really much of a promo with the positional collections because all of them dropped at once and it was just a madhouse trying to figure out what to sell, what to buy, what to trade for and all of that. But the positional sets are now available in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. We only have two starting out. Which is nice. We have free safety and left guard. Now, what it seems like we're doing is getting back to the ultimate team roots of Madden 13. Well, actually, in Madden 13, we only had, like, one position dropping every week. And, you know, now we have two is what it seems like they're going to do each and every week. But still, it's a lot better, and we can all agree, a lot better than every single one of them dropping at once. So what we're going to go over in this video, we're going to take a look at both sets. We're going to look at the rewards, see how much they're going for, take a look at all of their attributes. And I'm going to try to show you guys some of the more expensive items in both sets. That way you can get your awareness up if you have any of these items and you don't want to do the set, spend all the coins to knock it out. Go ahead, sell those items and make your coins. So the first thing we're going to look at is the free safety set where you get rewarded a 99 hero of Harrison Smith upon knocking out. And something very important for all of these position sets. I don't care when it is you're planning on knocking out the set. It could be two weeks from now. It could be two months from now. But something very important for every position set that will release in Mutt 15. This position hero item, this collectible, look. You cannot auction it, so you can't get it from the auction house. You have to play the solo challenge each week when these sets are released. That is the only way to get that specific position hero item. And, you know, once it's gone, the solos are only out for one week. So after that, it's going to be very difficult to knock out the sets without that. Now, I'm sure they'll add the solos back in the game. And maybe, I mean, we don't even know if they're going to do that. But one week to play the solo. And you will get that collectible. So everything else should be in packs right now. If I'm not mistaken. And I don't know how difficult it is to pull some of these guys. But we have stuff like Gold Outsiders. Gold Team of the Weeks. We have Elite Road to the Playoffs. Gold Road to the Playoffs. The Elite Team of the Weeks. And we also have things such as the Red Background Elites. The Base Elites without the Red Background. We have Base Golds as well as Elite Badges. Now I have also highlighted a couple of these that you might want to go ahead and sell if you have them to pick up some coins. First we're going to look at Team of the Week Rashad Johnson going for 39,000 coins. And next on the list is Team of the Week Jaquan Jarrett. Let's see how many coins people are asking for him. 43,000 and then he goes all the way up to 58,000. And let's just check out one more. Hopefully the Elite Badges are going to go back up in price. I think they're still hovering around 30,000 coins. But this team of the week, HaHa ha Clinton Dix, is going for 70k. And that's just a couple. I mean, the rest of these can bring you guys a lot of coins, but I'm only going to show you those. I mean, we can look at Glover Quinn. I think he's selling for like 40,000 coins at the moment. So, I mean, there's a lot, and I mean a lot of profit to be made. If you're seeing on any of these so just do a little research for yourself and then hopefully by the end of the day you're going to be making a lot of coins like for example even earl thomas is going for 45k and then he shoots up to 55,000 coins now to check out the left guard set this rewards a 99 hero of josh Sitton, and you're going to notice it's very different apart from the first set that we looked at yeah, you have your golds. You got some actual elite football outsiders in here as well of Josh Sitton himself. But let's check out the price of Orlando Franklin's Road to the Playoff really quick. You're going to be shocked if you have this in your binder because it's going for 105,000 coins. So I would sell that immediately if you're nowhere near having everything to do the set for. Just go ahead and sell it, and let's check out Evan Mathis's price as well. I mean, he skyrocketed. He's sitting at 157,000 coins. Kind of makes me wish I had bought him when he was like 70 or 80k. You know, you also have Josh Sitton's elite, his normal elite sitting here, and I think this was like maybe 15 to 20k. It wasn't a ton yet, sitting at 21,000 coins. But if you have any items in these sets, go ahead and sell them. And there's something very different in this. 
compared to the first set and that's a bunch of silvers and I do mean a bunch of silvers and the silvers are actually going to surprise you if you look up their price I mean I actually just clicked on one of the lower price silvers but you know when I was looking them up we had some going for 20k like this one right here going for 18,000 coins let's click on a couple more and see if we can get that price again I mean there was just a ton of these while ago going for so many coins in this set and maybe it's because there's some people at school I don't know maybe the market's gonna change this afternoon you guys can definitely keep an eye on it for yourself but I mean yeah in most cases a lot of these silvers are selling more than the golds are so you know most of the golds go for like two to five thousand coins depending on what they are some of them are actually going for 10 to 15 K so just do a little price check for yourself and then you're gonna come away knowing a little bit of the market value and things of that nature so yeah some of the silvers have definitely gone down in price but you still see that if you have any of these even this one it's gonna net you 10,000 coins and once again like I said you still need the two elite badges as well and also don't forget just like in every single set play the solo to get the position hero collectible solo is only in the game for one week so that is a big reminder remember that each week or you're not going to be able to complete these sets so now that we've looked at the sets as well as some of the high priced items let's just take a look at josh sitton's football outsider for example it's going for 62,000 coins so you know the market may have crashed in ultimate team recently but these position sets have a little bit of life bringing back up the auction block in their prices so once again guys just check the sets out for yourself if you have any of these items please go ahead and sell them because you have a potential to make a lot of coins that you don't even know you had so now that we have looked at both the left guard positional collection as well as the free safety position set let's go over to the auction block see how much their heroes are selling for and let's check them out so let's go ahead and take a look at how much these guys are going for if you plan on doing the sets Josh Sitton is 774,000 coins meanwhile Harrison Smith is 864k so last year these positional rewards were referred to as sparkle items so that's probably what influenced the little logo on the top left you know sort of given the sparkle effect and phenomenal card art by the way and one more thing before we jump into looking at the items you know it was nice of ultimate team to put out the positional 99 rewards and starting it off no better way than by two positions that didn't already have a 99 so Josh Sitton 98 strength 96 run block pass block at 99 with 97 impact blocking now Josh Sitton played in over 1,000 plays this past season allowing zero sacks and only nine total pressures so no better person could have gotten this reward plus eight to long pass plus eight to ground and pound so if you guys have a lot of these items sitting in your binder and you just want to do the sets go ahead and let me know in the comments below which one are you setting your focus on first 100 run block strength by the way so there you have it once again Josh Sitton currently sitting at 774,000 coins so just as we seen a couple moments ago Harrison Smith is 864,000 coins now Harrison Smith actually had a golden ticket last year so could we possibly see another one with an item like this let's go ahead and check him out see what he's looking at he's got 94 speed and hit power 93 acceleration 95 play rec 98 zone coverage man sitting at 80 Harrison Smith finished with over 90 tackles and five interceptions while only allowing one touchdown in his zone all season long so he gives plus nine to zone defense and plus eight to pass rush and there you guys have it there are the positional sets in ultimate team this year featuring a wide variety of items that we've seen released into packs also parts of sets throughout the year so once again if you have any of them please go ahead and sell them if you're not planning on doing the sets make as much profit as you can and actually Harrison Smith went down just a little as we refreshed so you may want to sell your items as quickly as possible to gain as much as possible because as you all know as time goes on the values will go down so if you're gonna pull some packs good luck on pulling some of these items that are selling for a fortune and like I said I would open packs 
but right now I just can't fit that in so hopefully I'll be able to pick up a bundle within the next few days ultimate team has been on top of the content here recently and I just want to give them an applause for that so as always if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and shatter the like button and subscribe for more so until next time guys roll tide